Oh yeah, uh, guarantee void if removed. Oh well, I guess my guarantees are void. Oh well. This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. Good evening, Mr. Ms. Internet and all our ships at sea. Atari here, you there, and this is an ATX power supply that I've uh, salvaged out of an old computer. And what I'm going to attempt to do as a part of Project Tiros, which uh, you can watch up here, there's a link somewhere. Uh, as part of Project Tiros, I'm going to attempt to essentially turn this into the power supply for uh, Project Tiros. Now, there's a couple of considerations here. This is a 24-pin connector, and uh, these guys are, they're a little smart. Um, you actually have to, uh, you actually have to tell it uh, that it's connected to something in order for it to actually turn on. So a couple of things we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to uh, first make sure that it will work, and two, uh, we'll have to rig up some sort of system so it will think that it's connected to a computer. And then we'll have to create some sort of a power distribution bus uh, so that inside Project Tiros we'll be able to access all the different voltages and so forth. Because uh, we need a couple of different voltages. I'm going to need uh, 5 volts, 2 amps, 5 volts, 2.5 amps for the, uh, for the Raspberry Pi. I need 5 volts for the uh, Arduino. I'll need uh, 12 volts and 3.3 amps for the screen. So a couple of different voltages we're going to need, uh, well, several different voltages we're going to need. And then, you know, it'll be able to uh, power any other auxiliary type of things. So the first thing to do is just to get this guy running. And to do that, we need to, well, one, we have to have it plugged in, but we're not going to plug it in yet. Uh, so I have this breadboard here. What it needs is a way to tell that it's uh, it's on. So to switch this power supply on, the first thing you got to do is uh, there is this green line right here. This line has to be grounded. It's got a pull-up resistor on it. Uh, when that is pulled low, then it knows that the switch has been tripped and the power supply should turn on. So the first thing to do is, uh, and I'm just going to use these jumper wires here. They don't really fit, but this will work for right now just to test it, make sure we're working. Uh, you know what? Let's use the white one uh, for our voltage in. So here's that one. Go right there. And then there is a ground right here, but just below it. So that's to start, and go ahead and plug her in, and let's get that off, plug it in, okay, and then connect our pin and see what happens. Fantastic, we turn it on. Now, let's see if we're getting any kind of voltages across any of the other pins. Um, let's just try this. This should be a 3.3 pin. Fantastic, 3.3 volts. So it looks like we're all set. Actually pretty simple. Um, however, if we were to add any kind of load to this thing on any of the, uh, any of the pins, then we will have a problem and it will just shut down what we're going to do, just for regulatory sake, this is a uh, 10 watt, 10 ohm wire wound resistor. And we're just going to put this in line uh, with a one of the 5 volt pins um, because that is going to give us just a little bit of load, uh, just enough load to trick the power supply into regulating, self-regulating, and staying on. And we'll plug that in. And now we know that this thing is going to work. So the next step then is to uh, 
branch all this out onto a power bus uh, so that we can tap into each individual line uh, as needed. So I went to go grab some proto board and I realized a couple of different things. One, I don't really have enough soldering uh, terminal blocks to uh, accommodate this. And for two, uh, that's a lot of soldering that I don't want to do. <laughs> so, um, so I grabbed these. These are uh, just screw on terminal, uh, terminal blocks. Uh, there are 24 there and that should account for the 24 positions here. So first thing I'm gonna do is just unbind these cables. In the darkness, bind them. There, ha! We got Tons and tons, tons of fun here. So now we have all of our uh, individual wires, uh, but I have everything all in these uh, screw-on terminal blocks. Uh, so that works. We've got uh, connectivity there. I still need to wire up a switch, and I still need to wire in this uh, sense load. But the vast majority of this project is done. So this is as far as I'm going to go with this part today. Uh, the rest of this is going to be incorporated into Project Tiros, which you can see how that goes by clicking the playlist link here. Social media, subscribe down here, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. Over here is the newsletter. It comes out about once a month, lets you know all the different things that I'm doing in the different uh, areas, the different medias, uh, media. And until next time, tally-ho, y'all.